Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about flexing and why every game store in Houston needs to flex. Now this is a game store called Mad Rats. I've covered them before and the reason they're in so much trouble is they flexed that they went to Costco and they bought all the Mad or Pokemon products in Costco. I don't and I went on their Instagram and it seems like they've done so before but with like mystery packs at Walmart or something. I would not be surprised at all if these individuals went from like Walmart to Walmart, Costco to Costco and then just bought out inventory uh, even though now they have a local. So back then it kind of makes sense, right? Because they don't have a distributor, they don't have a local game store. Okay, or they're not a local physical game store location. Okay, that makes sense to me. Um, now, it is not um, really that, in my opinion. So, this is a very interesting scenario. I'm going to go ahead and just say what I need to say about this. When you have a... When you have a game store and it's open to the public, you do have to act and behave in a certain way. I think that 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 makes a lot of sense to me, right? That you don't want to flex, you don't want to make people mad online because you you have more than they do, right? Uh, you want to be a decent company, right? You see all these Reddit threads, mad rats, mad rats, mad rats, right? They even have an eBay store. It looks like for eBay stores and they've deleted a lot of uh, Google reviews and added their own, I assume. Yeah, um, they're probably nice people, but you don't flex like this online because then you will get obliterated. Uh, you will absolutely be obliterated, obliterated, obliterated. And it comes down to, hey, you're here to run a business first. A lot of people don't understand this, right? That's why I never really flex on my marketing. I could. We do cool stuff all the time. We work with uh, Astros, uh, Houston Astros. Uh, we have a connect with them. And I could flex pictures and, and events and stuff. But what would that do? I would just get people angry and then they would contact these people and then they would cancel events, right? Um, but it's just kind of a chill thing. You know, when you flex stuff online, you're exposing your, like, a business should be separated from your personal thing. And there was another company, I forget what it was called, we covered it, and they flexed a lot, F1 and this and that, and then they turned out to actually not be able, they took pre-orders and not be able to give anyone refunds. I forget what that company's name was, maybe we'll cover them again. But this is basically what, it is. They, they flex so hard, they spent all the customers' money. Kind of like how MetaZoo did it, right? MetaZoo was, what was Andy flexing his Lamborghini, right? Lamborghini, Andy. Lambo Andy. And they were flexing all this stuff with Steve Aoki. And, 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 and this is what I don't like. When, when you're a business, like there is no flex, right? Like if you want to do something like a Pan, Pangonia or something like that, there, there's ways to do stuff. Which, like, you know, Pangonia loves uh, the environment. There's ways to support the environment and not, like, make it such a big deal. Because you're going to do it anyway. But when you're making stuff a big deal, and in this case, they're making the fact that they are buying out a Costco a big deal. Uh, it, it's a little, you know, it's a little cringe. And, you know, <laughs> I'm probably the king of cringe. But it's a little cringe, in my um, opinion, just for the fact that, like, I, I don't see it being a good, I see it being a very, very bad idea. And the reason I see it being such a bad idea should be pretty obvious, right? It's people get mad online. And when you do something stupid, they will remember and they will post about it and all this stuff. Um, I'm sure these are, like, nice people. I'm sure these are people who, you know are trying their best to run a business in a difficult economy and I, I do think it's a difficult economy but you you don't want to you don't want to do this right like you you do not want to do this um and you're going to take a little heat like i said i've taken a little heat myself from the mtg lion brand back in the olden days it's uh yeah it is uh, 
quite interesting, right? So just flex less, worry about your business, run a legit business, run a business that isn't about like, oh, hey, look at my, how big my car is or my van is. Look at my new Mercedes Benz, right? Um, run a business that is based on providing value to your customers and good deals. That was my, my business. I pa I straight passed on a lot of the buy list to my friends. Like it's, it's obviously easier for me because all my customers are my friends. Like minus one guy. <laughs> like one to one individual. But the flex lifestyle, a lot of people, I think they're owning, they're opening businesses to flex. And that is the dumbest thing I ever, I've ever heard. Like you do not, I mean, the last thing that you want to be doing when you own a business, it's flexing because you got to be humble. You got to be gracious. You got to be very kind. You have to, I mean, you got to realize that there's not everyone out there wants you to be successful. Not everyone is like Kumaya, right? Like, hey, you are a competitor to a local game store near you. And I actually know where they're located. So I know um, Nance Gaming, I think Asgard Games, a drive away. Third Coast, I think, is around there, maybe. Um, maybe I'll map it, but those game stores, I mean, they're waiting for you to, um, for your demise. They're just waiting for you to fail because they, again, they are competitors. Like this whole Kumbaya thing, I can tell you from straight up from opening a game store, like, there's none of this fake stuff, right? There's a lot of this fake stuff. Oh, we're partners and uh, we are the flipper community. <laughs> we want to help each other. Nah, man, when somebody flips a card, th there's a lot of jealousy. And those people are not going to um, be friends at the end of the day. They're flippers, okay? They be flippers, okay? <laughs> like, they, they want to make money. And the way to make money is that I flip the card so you don't flip a card. Anyway, I'm just telling you, like, straight up just the reality of... Um, of the situation it's not rainbows and sunshine it is often you know rainbows and and shit you know it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of long nights owning a business is hell on earth it is i believe that i will always believe that earning a business is hell on earth so if the reason you own a business is you want to flex you want to flex on your customers and you want to show oh i have these cards and you don't yikes man I, I i don't know what to tell you it's probably not a good idea to um to start a business because you will fail